Hello everybody, the drafter here and welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. My let's play in this mod pack, very awesome mod pack. Um, um, I'm here on this giant pillar of dust just to show you my word. Um, I am recording uh, this episode very close to the second, so I will not be able to read comments in the second episode, but I will address them in the next episode for sure. So tell me what you think, tell me what you think of the word so far. And um, what I want to say, yeah, uh, we are here on this gen. I was here to show you my word, so we can now go down thanks to Vein Miner. But boom, and we got our dust back. Yes, great. Well, there was a big drop. Okay, so the plan for today is I want to show you this cobblestone generator for sure. First thing, I have a bit of lag. I just loaded the game and I started recording basically. So this is not uh, okay. This is not a super unique design, I would say, but it's quite handy. I'm, I'm sure somebody already did this kind of design. Uh, basically, we will put the lava here, and so we will have four blocks uh, converted into cobblestone because of the flows, of the water that is flowing here. And yeah, you basically make make a pattern like this, three blocks like this, one like this, then three again, then one. And this is all mob proof, it's all a slab. So even on the top, the, 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 the only block that is full is the block where the water sits and of course where it flows. Those are half, are slabs, I mean. <laughs> so that monster cannot spawn here. And I I made it of uh, what's called stone slabs instead of cobblestone uh, because I will show you very soon because so we can use main vi mm -hmm. vein miner uh, safely without re wrecking the whole thing. So let's go get our bucket and we will get some lava. So normally um, oh and by the way this is how you place entities or blocks there is a key um, a shortcut called place blocks in the commands and you can place pretty much everything um, pretty much everything so it's very cool uh, normally to make lava you need a crucible this thing here crucible from ex nihilo you have to make an unfired crucible out of porcelain clay which is clay and bone meal we, we're gonna do it anyways and then you, have, you use seven of those little porcelain clay balls to make the crucible and then you have to cook it in the um, in, uh, in a furnace for example but <laughs> this is super funny i have to show you so that's why i wait i made this huge platform here for for animals and we got some animals spawning i left the game running for more or less three or four hours and look at this, we have cows and we have also fluid cows. That's so funny. We have a resonant ender cow, um, a molten glass cow, that's so cool. And we have a molten electron cow and hollow tears. But the one we're gonna use today, we're gonna milk, I mean, I don't know. I don't know which, which what, what word to use. Uh, we're gonna milk a lava cow and check it out. Wapow! Lava bucket! How awesome is that? And of course there is a cooldown, so it's 4000 ticks. I also try to breed them, but the special cows do not breed with normal cows. Or a lava, for instance, a lava cow cannot breed with a molten electron cow. So you need two lava cows to breed another one. And I think I'm gonna extend this platform as soon as I have an automated mean to make uh, an automated way to make uh, dirt please move away thank you uh, so I'll extend whoa you have a giant hat do you um, so we can sp hopefully spawn more animals and here I made a little farm for with potatoes and carrots it's just the one you see in villages in regular Minecraft this is still not completed because I didn't have enough dirt I just wanted to go go ahead and do things cool things uh, this platform here is basically just so the world is not empty anymore um, but 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 let's go I also upgraded my tools with stone 
but today we are probably gonna upgrade them again. Let's grab our stuff, okay? So, we are placing the lava here, like so. And kapow! Look at that. Four blocks of cobblestone. And as I said, because of the main viner mo mode, um, because how how it works, those two blocks and also the other two in the back, they touch each other even if diagonally, so they will be mined. Look at that! I'll press the vein miner keyword, and all four blocks. And again, so that's how I grinded some of the cobblestone we are gonna see, and we can now move forward. I think it's this chest. Yes, I also cooked some of it into stone. Uh, we can also move forward. I want to grab one sand block. We already uh, sift, sifted, sieved, sifted. I don't know. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> one block of gravel. So today we're gonna sift uh, one block of sand and one of dust. And then we will proceed forward with the achievements. Let's go over there and take a look. And let's place the bucket back over here because I don't want to lose it. If I die, I hope it, they not disappear, but yeah, the builder's wand is still here. So, okay. So, sift, gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve. Okay, let's go with the sand first. And, as I said, you use the hammer. We saw the hammer uh, last episode. Uh, how to sift. It cut nothing. Holy smokes. Okay. Let's sift a couple of blocks of dust. See if we get something, at least. Oh, we got something. Sky stone dust. Way super useless. But anyways. We got the achievement. So there's a chance that you get nothing when you sift things. But yeah. We can move forward with the Thinker's Construct tools from Bone or Flint. Uh, I think I'm gonna use uh, Bone because I don't have a lot of Flint. Since I didn't... Uh, I didn't destroy uh, gravel blocks. Uh, enough gravel block, so I think I'm gonna use bones because I have a lot of bones. So let me get organized a little bit here, and we're gonna put the Tinker Construct basic stations over here, I guess. Maybe yeah, uh, here looks fine. Uh, I'll be right back soon. Alrighty, I got my materials with me. I got to figure out what to do exactly so there will be no mistakes at all. Now um, I lay down four blocks here because here we're gonna put. Pattern chest, stencil table, part builder, and tool station. And let's see how we build them. So let's go over the crafting station. Uh, the main, main component will be blank pattern. So let me show you, for example, the uh, tool station. Tool station, they are all for Tinker, from Tinker Construct. You can also make them slab, but I will go for the normal ones. So we need a crafting station and a blank pattern. Uh, that's that's standard. Uh, you can also use, as you can see, a crafting table, so that's fine. Let's start to make a few patterns. We're gonna need them for many many things. Uh, you can, yeah, as you see, as you saw, there are four. Uh, they use four blocks, so sticks and oak planks. Now let's put the blank pattern and the crafting station for the tool station. And we also got an awesome book, Materials and You, Volume 2. We have Volume 1 in one of the chests, so that's all good. Next we're gonna make the part builder. Uh, you can make it from different wood types. Uh, we're gonna go for oak, because that's one we have in uh, abundance. So pattern and wood, the regular wood. There we go, pattern and the wood block and we have our part builder next is the stencil table basically the stencil table will allow you to um, to carve patterns into the patterns and it's a plank and a pattern as you could imagine uh, we go last but not least it's very handy you could go for those three without problems but with the pattern chest you can store your pattern next to the stencil table and it's very handy, you will see. So we need a chest and a blank pattern. And very easy, chest and a blank pattern. Okay, now that's the order I'm gonna put them down. So pattern chest first here, 
then we make the oh they got moved automatically thank you very much that's very handy part builder and tool station and we can take a look at them from above look at them very nice uh, as i said you can also make them slab and i will probably do because they take less space so let's do that let's do that you just have to put them again into the crafting area and they will become slab like so very easy and it's neat oh we also got another book i think from the tool station yeah thinkers weaponry nice so again pattern and the part builder goes here stencil table and tool station yeah i prefer that i totally prefer that so why we put the pattern chest next to the stencil table because if we put pattern in here whoops well we need pattern that have something in them so first of all let's put the blank pattern here and we're gonna make it more or less one of each so this is the uh, tool rod pattern very useful for tools we just need one this is the binding make uh, you need it for for binding a tool rod to a head you will see in a few seconds and if you press shift you can check all the materials you can use to make this component there we go this is the tough rock rod pattern we're not gonna make this one yet because it's for tougher uh, object we don't have the material set as you can see uh, we could make it out of stone but yeah let's start with the basic then we have the pickaxe head pattern as you can imagine this can be used to make a pickaxe then we have the shovel head and the axe head pattern this is a cycle sight I'm not making that uh, but I want to make this excavator broad axe there was a metoc I oh know metoc uses head and um, shovel and axe so it's fine I want a sword blade pattern for sure and this is for the sword the crossbar pattern and I think this is I oh know this is for the sword sorry the crossbar is for something else I am mistaken uh, this is for the large blade and this is for the knife well let's make them just because uh, let's make this hand guard pattern as well okay we have one left so let's check the other one Brodex excavator this is a hammer uh, bah, I think we can make this creeper face which is a plate large plate I'm not gonna use it right now but still so now I think I made a mistake here that's where the mistake is we need to invert those two guys the pattern chest goes next to the part builder yes so there we go we can access the pattern chest easily from the stencil table uh, from the part builder sorry so we have bones on us from the mob grinder and if you access the part builder so first I want to make a pickaxe because this pickaxe is quite weak I think the one made out of bones is better so we're gonna make one tool rod pattern and we're gonna use one bone over here and we have a bone tool nice uh, we also have bone meal in excess which is useful very useful uh, as show you if you use this you will get a tool rod and a stick if you use uh, stone dang it I don't have any cobblestone on me well we can fix that very easily did we get it no we got destroyed dang it and I'm digging into water which is not very convenient let's try to do it right okay there we go if we make the uh, tool head out of stone we get stone shards which is more or less useless quite useless so better to use bone or flint flint I'm not sure what you get as a secondary material but yeah so we got our pattern for the pickaxe let's make the head always out, um, again made out of bone yes yes and the binding we need the binding for the pickaxe that didn't give us uh, a bone meal but it's okay so now I'm gonna show you uh, well first let me check the axe as well let's make the axe as well 
and I'll show you that the axe does not need a binding. It only needs the tool rod and the head. Next we go to the tool station and here you can see all the, the interfaces divided by tool. The first one being the one for repair and modification. We will get to modification in a later episode. So let's go to the pickaxe. Required part. You see which part you need. Pickaxe head, tool binding, handle. For the shovel or axe, you see we just need the axe and the handle. Let's make the pickaxe first, like so. And we get our bone pickaxe. And thanks to the iguana, I think it's called iguana something, <laughs> one of the mod, the tools have levels. So as you can see, for each block you mine, you get more uh, you get more XP and the skill level of the of the tool will increase increasing is its effectiveness so I think the pickaxe the bone pickaxe uh, Mining speed 3. I'm not sure if it's better than the stone pick pickaxe in terms of speed and the Kind of block it can mine, but you can see that it has more durability and We can repair it with just bone as you can see in the tooltip repair material bone which we have plenty thanks to the mob grinder so then let's make the uh, axe same way and there we go we have tools that we can now repair easily and we don't need to make uh, a crazy amount of well at first deplete those we do not have to make a crazy amount of tools while we use main a uh, vein miner main miner <laughs> a vein miner uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make all the other things I need I mean the stone sword the shovel and there is also the mattock which is basically um, uh, it's um, it's a shovel and um, a hoe so uh, it's also it's also an axe but I mainly will you I'll mainly use it as a um, shovel and hoe so I'll make that as well and you make it with a axe head and a shovel head so i'll check with you guys in a second so we got all our new tools and our old one can be put on a display here in the back of the barrels that's super cool i like this way of placing things in the world that should be in vanilla minecraft as well and let's replace them with the newly created tinker construct tools uh, the sword blade and the white card cannot be made out of bone so you have to make it out of stone and the repair material is stone which is good so when they break i mean when the durability goes down to zero they do not get destroyed they just um you cannot use them anymore so you just go to your tool station the first tab is the repair you put your item here and the material for the repair over here and you get an almost fully repaired tool nice very cool uh, we can, oops, we can definitely untick the Tinker Construct tool from Bone or Flint. Nice. And uh, yeah, as I said, this is what we need to make uh, the next two achievements are for the Crucible. Needed to make lava, and yeah, we, we will do it anyways. Uh, because yeah, we, we're gonna need it in the future. And build a cobblestone generator. We did that as well. Okay, next is the Dark Age, a uh, Stone Age. Okay, but that's all for today, guys. Um, uh, let me know if you have suggestions. If you have suggestions for what I should do in my world, and if you like what I'm doing. Uh, leave me a comment I really like to read them and to answer them and again thank you very much for all the comments in the first episode I was really overwhelmed and yeah that was that was great it was very nice um, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time ciao ciao